Smitty and Jerry pointed out, where you respond to the local community and their concerns. One of the problems with a larger government is that it is, tends to be less responsive to those concerns. So, the, the issue I have with the way, the, and it's only in the whereases, so it's not too concerned, but Councillor Plant represented uh, comments on I, regarding provincially funded amalgamation study. Uh, that's only whereas, so it wouldn't go to the problems. It should be a provincial study on improved governance in the region, I, I think, more properly. Um, beyond that, I would not enter any kind of contract with anybody unless I understood the terms of reference. Again, as many pointed out, you want to know who is carrying this study out, what the process they're going to use, and what kinds of discussion items are going to be involved. How full an examination is it going to be? Or is somebody has a particular bias towards a particular answer? Because that's not helpful, if that's the case. So I could, I, 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 I'm having trouble supporting the motion as it's now worded, because it's saying, well, God, we'll join in, and more or less no matter what. I would be comfortable to say, Senate would indicate a willingness to join in uh, if the terms of reference indicate a study that would be a review fully of how governance in the region could be improved, that was open to examine all uh, possible options, and with no prior bias towards any particular uh, outcome. That, that's fine, I could support that. But uh, to just say, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be part of the study, and, and nothing in here about shaping the terms of reference or what kind of study we expected, I can't support that. Um, so if there, if uh, either I guess perhaps an amendment might be hostile, but uh, I, I would support this if it had an amendment or a change motion that said, you know, with a terms of reference that accomplished those things that I said, uh, Sanish could see itself as as a potential participant in such a study. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Jeremy. Councillor Bryce. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. The um, presentations this evening were were good. They were to the point, and people uh, came to the the core of, of what they, they wanted to tell us. Um, as I see where we are at this stage of the game, and we're we've been at this in various forms over over months. Um, and the motion that is before us, um, and the kind of comments that are made, to me it, it kind of breaks down into a, a kind of a peer pressure. Do it, everyone is. You know, the cool kids are doing it, do it. Well, in reality, no, seriously, in reality, three municipalities on the peninsula put a very specific question on the ballot about a peninsula amalgamation, kind of a standalone piece. And three municipalities, Victoria, Esquimalt, and Colwood, have jumped on the everybody's doing it. In actual fact, Oak Bay, View Royal, Sandwich, Machos, and Highlands, Langford, and Souk are not. So I think this sense that somehow everybody's going in a direction, and if Sandwich doesn't jump on that train, we're not staying with the program, um, is not a compelling reason for us to move at this time. Another one is do it, or decision will be made without Saanich. In fact, under the Charter, the Minister will not be able to make any discussions about future uh, dealings around Saanich unless Saanich asks the Minister to. It is not something we're going to get swept up into without uh, having uh, any opportunity to, uh, to be involved. It says, do it. The province has hundreds of thousands of dollars, and we heard that tonight, to spend. Uh, I haven't seen anything in writing. Um, with all due respect, the Times Colonist is not the uh, sort of uh, record of 
uh, of what the communications are between a senior level of government, this level of government, seen nothing in writing, haven't seen anything about terms of reference as uh, was referred to here by um, Councillor Derman. Uh, what would the terms of reference be? Who would conduct such a study? Are there, is there a brain trust of people sitting within the ministry uh, ready to be unleashed to go about doing this task? Um, I don't know. Sometimes I, I hear that the minister is making our letter and I just sort of wonder. Um, there's, there's way more, way more happening than that. Um, what would the process entail in terms of public involvement in this study? One can say that you don't have to, uh, to accept the findings, and that is absolutely accurate. You don't have to accept the findings. But I think there is a responsibility that we would know what we were getting into. Um, I still don't know when the province talks about its amalgamation study, is it a study to determine amalgamation options, such as amalgamation yes wants, they want at least three options as I see in their terms of reference. So is that the study to determine which amalgamation options would be preferred? Or is it a study to determine if amalgamation is beneficial financially and for efficiency considerations? I mean, is, what is the question? What is the question that we are asking out of this study? I think there are a lot of things left unanswered and certainly uh, like uh, Councillor Derman, I'm open to um, moving uh, in a way that would be in harmony with our community-based uh, motion uh, if it is something that would be compatible. But the motion that is before us tonight is uh, way too blunt an instrument. There are way too many more nuances and there's lots more information that needs to be known before I could give it my support. Thank you, Councillor Bryce. Councillor Sanders. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I will certainly uh, say that, Councillor Bryce, you said it all. I didn't have it down quite so pat how many weren't involved in this question. I really appreciate the public coming out because the input we get from the public always helps with our decision making. And, and certainly I have felt that we're, we're well down the road on, on pursuing the question that the public voted for on, uh, during the election time. And that was for the community-based review and our partnerships with, with regionally, so our community-based review on our, our local operations, and there's going to be public participation and engagement. So I'm pleased that we're, we're already out of the gate and have been since, you know, right after the election, and, and we're going to be looking at that happening. And we'll say, yes, not all the municipalities are involved in that question. And, and the speaker that said that we have this blind faith that we're going to some greater God that's going to make those decisions for us. And, Councilor Bryce, you tell me there isn't a greater God. You don't see where that is. Oh, excuse me. No, no, that's not what you said. <laughs> that was my interpretation. <laughs> oh, it's getting late. <laughs> uh, so, and I want to talk about, you know, the fact that it does say amalgamation and our public didn't vote with that in, in, the, um, in the question. And our citizen survey, amalgamation has never even made it to the important things to our residents. Not saying that, that there aren't uh, things that we can work with and integrate. So I'm not comfortable voting for this, uh, supporting this motion as there's too many questions still on, on what is the province proposing, the terms of reference, uh, who would be doing it, and, and the fact that it isn't the question that we put to our public. So I think it would be disingenuous to go down a different path than what was understood there. And I must thank uh, Ms. Henderson that spoke, and, and you know, you always got to be careful with numbers. And I'm a bit of a I'm a number nerd. I'm not, I don't know the definition of a basement either compared to the other nerd. But when, when you quote figures, when you look at actually the people that voted for the question, it was 25% of our eligible voters. So that's, a, you know, I'm hard pressed to, to go based on that. So I, I won't be supporting this motion and I, you know, I'm looking forward to as we proceed down the question that we're following. Sorry, Councilor Sanders, I missed that bit. You were hard pressed to what, with 25%? It was 25% well that, that the eligible voters that actually support, said yes to the question. So, you know, when we, we talk greater numbers now, this, it's yet 75% of the people that voted, you know, the voters was 75% that said yes to the question. But when you look at the 
eligible voters, it's only 25% of our population are our eligible voters that said yes on the question. Not everybody votes. All right, thank you for that. I think myself and the audience are having trouble understanding that because it was enough to elect us to get us here. <laughs> Is there any more discussion? Any more discussion? Councilor Burdock, sorry. Go ahead, please. Thank you. We're seldom confused, but in this case, that's okay. Um, um, I, um, so, uh, like some of my colleagues, I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble understanding exactly what we would put in front of the province, I guess, in reply to the call for uh, some, some word from Saanich. Um, but I also don't see in the motion that Council Glant has put together a specific reply. So I think that what we're circling around here is exactly what we say back to the province. Um, and maybe we want more information from the province before we're prepared to reply. I, I, I'm not totally sure. Where I come out on this, I think it, it, I, I'm as mixed as, as the pre presenters we've heard from this evening. I think there's something going on that we don't want to miss out on, and we don't want to leave the Saanich chair empty. But we also didn't say to folks, we're going to jump in on, a, on an amalgamation study. So I think that we have to be uh, at least participants in a process, but exactly what that process is going to be, I think, is unclear to all of us at this point. Um, what I think we've all said, and I think what we heard m most of the speakers say, is there was a resounding endorsement for a community-based review, so get on with that. Um, this is certainly not intended to replace that, um, and, and I think you, you've heard from this council that that is something that we are actively pursuing. Um, where I'm, where I'm going to need a little more information, or where I want to see us have a bit more discussion, is what we're going to put back to the minister. Um, because I don't want to see us miss the opportunity to be participants, uh, even if it means we're auditing the class to find out information rather than taking the final exam. Uh, I think that we, at the very least, need to be in the room for a conversation that has a profound impact on Saanich residents one way or another. Um, so uh, whether or not I can support what's in here, I think maybe we need a little more information, and that's part of the, uh, what part of the motion is to say, let's develop some content here and, and have a discussion about whether or not that's